Here's a quick bit of history of who Turtle Vandemar and Dave Reich are and what they've meant to the Portland music scene for nearly half a century. Let's start with the 1960s. Yes, those 60s. In particular, this movie, Easy Rider. You wanna be a bird. Remember this classic scene? The song that was used in this famous montage was the Bird Song, or on the Easy Rider album, entitled If You Wanna Be a Bird, by the Holy Modal Rounders. One of the founding members, Steve Weber, took the band from New York City to Portland, Oregon, which included this guy, bassist Dave Reich. While in Portland, Dave would meet up with this guy, guitarist Turtle Vandemar. Turtle was in a band called Fly By Night Jazz Band, who were the first band to ever play at the White Eagle Saloon long before it was part of the McMinnon line of restaurants and bars. However, Mike McMinnon, one of the founding brothers, was an avid fan of Turtle's band. For nearly a decade, Turtle would play for this guy, Dan Hicks, and his hot licks. I'm standing on the corner with the feet in my shoes, rocking my brain, how to pay my dues. Chugs them dip and run with booze. Long come a vibe, run and blow my blues. Dave would join an offshoot of the Rounders called the Clam Tones, headed up by Jeffrey Frederick, who was inducted into the Organ Music Hall of Fame shortly after his death in 2011. Bouncing around a number of different bands, Dave and Turtle have been playing regularly with the Freak Mountain Ramblers, started by the late Jimmy Boyer where they've been playing regularly at the Laurel Thirst Public House every Sunday in what has become known as Church for the past 20 years. They've also been dubbed McMinniman's House Band. Both Turtle and Dave have been inducted several times with different bands to the Organ Music Hall of Fame. Recently, Steve Weber from the Holy Modal Rounders passed away. And as their friends pass on, Turtle and Dave find themselves still playing music on ice. I, don't, I can't remember everything. When did the Rounders actually hit Portland? I was there the first night you played at the White Eagle. It was, was late September uh, 72. Yeah. My first gig was at uh, this uh, little cafe at uh, Portland State. We played outside. It was kind of cold. And then in October, we started at the White Eagle. Ran into Billy Holtz and the, down at the, what was it? Uh, uh, storefront theater. Oh, yeah, which was right down the street. Yeah, that's right We were in a play there at the storefront theater at the time. Yep called girl of the golden west <laughs> starring Kathy Lucido and uh, Me and Billy and and John Ward all had uh, little little one-line parts Yeah, Billy talked to uh, Tony Ferroni into having music up at the White Eagle Oh my God, Tony Ferroni. That's right. <laughs> 75 cents to get in. <laughs> Tony goes, Tony goes, I don't care what you do in the back. I run the bar. <laughs> With an iron fist, as it turned out. But enough about all that. Enough about that, yeah. For now. Let's do, uh, let's do me oh my, maybe. Oh yeah, me oh my, that's uh, good old Jeff, poor old Jeff. Poor old Jeffy. Actually, he actually did have a uh, trailer in uh, Vermont. It's a true story. Uh, up in Bakersfield, Vermont, uh, on the side of the road. And he did have a horse, although I think it was the neighbor's, but uh, anyway. And he did have this little trick of... Uh, Pulling the, the electric meter out, turning it upside down, and then plugging it back in, and it r run backwards. <laughs> so you had to make sure you, you switched it back before the guy came to check it, and he got caught one time. So. Oh, that's what this song is about. Yeah. All true story, ladies and gentlemen, from the razor's edge of life. <laughs> Singing them blues. I had 
had a visit from the electric company leader man. He said, boy, what you doing here is a sin. I gave him a whiskey so he didn't turn me in. Just a don't you shut that meter off again. I didn't have a 
Jeffrey Frederick tune. Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey and I met when I was living on in some apartments on Thurman Street with Pam Boswell, also known as Beulah. <laughs> 